Welcome back to Think Thrice Problem Solving. Today we're going to be solving a fun little number theory problem. So we have 2 to the 10th plus 2 to the 13th plus 2 to the x is equal to y squared, where x and y are both integers. So let's go ahead and jump in and see if we can come to a solution. If you want to try it out, pause the video. Otherwise, we're going to jump straight in. So the first thing I'm going to do, so number theory, let's try to kind of simplify this, put it into a little different format. So what I notice here is I notice that I have this 2 to the 10th and 2 to the 13th. So let's join those guys together and factor out a 2 to the 10th. And that's going to give me 2 to the 10th times 1 plus 2 cubed plus 2 to the x is equal to y squared. So what do I notice about that? So 1 plus 2 cubed is 1 plus 8, which is just 9. <clears throat> So I'm going to go ahead and then move this over. So I'm going to subtract it from both sides. But what I'm also going to notice is that 2 to the 10th is 2 to the 5th squared. So I'm going to rewrite this um, a little bit differently as 2 to the 5th squared and 3 squared. So let's rearrange. I'm going to write this as 2 to the x is equal to y squared minus 2 to the 5th squared times 3 squared. So what I notice here is I can then rewrite this as 1 squared. So this is going to be equal to y squared minus 2 to the 5th times 3 squared, which can also be written then um, in some, some other forms, but we're going to leave it here for right now. Okay, so what does this mean? So what I notice is I have y squared minus 2 to the 5th times 3 squared. 2 to the 5th times 3 is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 times 3, which is 96. So if I have the difference of two squares, remember that a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the x is equal to y minus 96 times y plus 96. And I can see that that's going to be the same thing over there. <clears throat> okay, so this is where we get into a little bit of number theory. So what do I notice on the left? So on the left I have 2 to the x, so it's 2 times 2 times 2 and so on. I don't know how many of them there are yet. But what does that mean? That means that this guy must be 2 to some number. And this guy must also be 2 to some number. So y minus 96 is equal to 2 to the a, and y plus 96 is equal to 2 to the b for some a and b, some integers. And when I do that, I have 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the a times 2 to the b, which is equal to 2 to the a plus b. So if I can figure out what a and b are, I can see that x is equal to a plus b. So I'm going to need that later. So in order to solve for x, I'm solving for x equal a plus b. All right. So now I have a system of equations here that I can solve. So what do I notice? So let's take this guy. I'm going to label him 1 and him 2. And I'm going to take 1 minus 2. So when I do that, I'm going to get y plus 96 minus y minus 96 is equal to 2 to the b minus 2 to the a. So these y's are going to cancel, and I'm going to end up with 192 is equal to 2 to the b minus 2 to the a. So what is 192? So 192 is... Um, 192 is equal to 64 times 3, which is equal to 248 squared, so 2 to the 6 times 3. So what does that tell us? That tells me now that I can rewrite this as 2 to the 6 times 3. Whoa. Not sure what happened there. So 2 to the 6 
times 3 is equal to 2 to the b minus 2 to the a. Let's go ahead and divide out that 2 to the 6th from both sides. And what we're going to get now is that 3 on the left is equal to 2 to the b minus 6 minus 2 to the a minus 6. Okay, so this is an interesting little equation here. So I noticed that 3, so the difference between my 2 is going to be 3. So what does that mean? So 2 to anything, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, what do we notice about all those numbers? Those are all even. So this guy looks like he's always even. This guy looks like he's always even. Even minus even is going to give me an even number, right? So it must be true that one of these guys is not even. So 2 to what is equal to an odd number? Well, if you're doing that in your head right now, so we can see that 2 raised to the 0th power is equal to 1. So if we raise 2 to the 0th power, that'll equal 1. And then we'd be able to get an odd number here. So if we make a minus 6 equal to 0, then I get 3 is equal to 2 to the b minus 6 minus 1. So 2 to the b minus 6 is equal to 4. That means that b minus 6 must equal 2. So I now have a equal to 6 and b is equal to 8. Okay, so am I done? Pretty much. So remember we set up here that x is equal to a plus b. So that means that x is equal to 6 plus 8, which is equal to 14. So now I have my 14, but I don't quite have y, but we can solve for it here. So if I notice these equations here, let's take the uh, second one. So y plus which one's going to be easier? Let's do the first one, sorry. So y minus 96 is equal to 2 to the a, which is 2 to the 6, which is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. So y is then going to equal 96 plus 64, which is 160. So it looks like my solution is going to be x equal 14 and y is equal to 160. And that is going to be the solution to my problem. So I hope you enjoyed working through this problem to, with me. A little bit of a different number theory kind of problem. So remember, we went back up here. How did we solve this? We kind of grouped some like terms initially. And then we tried to get it into a format um, where we could deal with the, uh, the fact that we had this prime factorization. So heading that 2 to the x on one side of the equation. And we have it multiplied by two different things. So multiplication is our friend when we're dealing with uh, number theory. Then I was able to solve for these so that we had this 2 to the a and 2 to the b. And then ultimately that led us to our solution. All right, so please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you have your own idea, please submit it. And as you're working through problems on your own, think once, think twice. And if you really get stuck, think thrice.